phenomenal course, and we're so lucky that Miramar even lets us in there, and uh, they just really, really uh, kind of grasped, got behind this whole thing. There's a lot of the uh, homes have parties on their back porches and patios and, uh, and docks, so it's, it's been a great event, a great partnership. Uh, my name is Mark McCaw. I'm your, uh, your meet referee for this weekend. I uh, wanted to introduce a couple people to you, some important folk. Right here is uh, our race director, Greg Cross. Recent director in the country, right? Uh, also, we have with us Nancy Apperson, who's our safety officer. We get a lot of support from Jeff Milky and Gary, uh, Gary Yu, and they're on staff of the Lee County Sports Authority. I don't think they're here tonight, but they're good supporters. And also, we get a lot of support from the Lee County Sheriff's Department, the San Carlos, San Carlos Fire and Rescue, and of course, all of Miramar Lakes Beach and Golf Club staff and residents. Thank so thank you so much for coming. By the way, I'm a 25-year resident here, so if you look for restaurant ideas or mall ideas or where's the best beach or whatever, don't hesitate to pull me aside and ask. So I'm happy to send you someplace. Uh, let me also introduce you to the 5K uh, meet uh, race uh, uh, referee. Excuse me, is Sandy Drake from Hawaii. <laughs> and I'll be running the 5K women's race. Uh, we do have a. Um, a jury has been pre-selected. They've been the jury for the entire weekend. Haley Anderson is our athlete representative. Oh, Pam Wilson is our other, I'm sorry, she's, she's in transit, I think. Pam Wilson is our official representative. Coach Bill Rose is one of our coach representatives. Josh White is another one of the coach representatives. And uh, Catherine Vogt is another one. Okay, so with that, let's talk about this. Race procedures. USA Swimming rules do apply at this meet. Uh, the normal gear apparel, the only thing different here that is in the pool is that you are allowed to have your upper body, plus it goes all the way down to the ankle and your suit, but the suit must be either FINA approved or certainly <laughs> follow the other rules of completely permeable to water and air. So you'll need to tomorrow morning. Be sure that you uh, go to the uh, uh, when you register to get your check or to get your registration ticket. To get in the water, you're going to need to declare your suit by manufacturer and model. Okay, that's, that's going to be very important. Um, also, there's no there won't be any crafts on the water. There's no feeding station for the uh, for the five cat. Oh well, yeah. So there'll be safety stuff on the water, but no no uh, uh, yeah no feeding station, no others. The uh, slipstreaming, of course, is allowed. Interference is not. Basically, the rule is that you cannot impede another swimmer's progress. We all know this. We'll have four officials boats on the water, so they'll be there watching. Um, we realize there is contact as part of the sport. That's fine, but just keep it to a minimum so that you're not impeding another swimmer's progress. Uh, tomorrow morning when you check in, they're going to check your fingernails, toenails, uh, no jewelry and watches in the water, please. Start times, they need to report tomorrow morning no uh, later than 45 minutes prior to the race. So the first race is at 8 a.m., so you'll need to be there no later than 7.15. Second race is at 9.30, so you'll need to be there no later than quarter to nine. Pre-race meeting will be 15 minutes prior to the race in the tent on the beach. And uh, the introduction of athletes will start five minutes prior to the start. And if you remember, if you've done this before, as you're coming out, as you're being announced, we want, want you to show us your wrist, your uh, hand number, so you want you to do the little fist-like thing, okay, so we can get you on video. And then just stop right short of the water, you can hang around right at the edge of the water there until we send you out in to so make sure all the referees are ready and we're ready to start the race. And we'll send you on in. Starting will be with a rope and uh, with a horn. Finish procedures, we're going to show you the, the course. Greg will go through that. <coughs> the finish procedure, your race is over when you touch the finish platform with your hand. Okay, you must touch the platform to finish the race. Withdraw procedures, if for some reason or another, you need to get out of the water, let's say you get over on the beach or get over to a, uh, a pier, please, please, please flag us down. Make sure that if you are on the beach that you walk back to the start here so we know where you are, otherwise you're gonna set off a panic. Because the number one thing out there for us is your safety. It's unlikely you would get off the, uh, off the course without us knowing about it, but God forbid you did. Please, please let us know that you're okay. okay. Withdraw well, procedure, designated cutoff time. Uh, protests, that's something that you would come to me if you have a protest on something on the race. Income of weather contingencies. The weather is supposed to be spectacular, but you never know. 
So if you, uh, if there's some reason that we have a weather problem, each of the boats have an air horn, you'll hear multiple air horn blasts and they'll be blowing their whistles like crazy and go to the nearest boat, nearest kayak, nearest paddleboard, and we'll take you out of the water. Unlikely that would happen, but we want you to know that in case it does. If there's some kind of a problem at the start, don't know what it might be, but if there is, you'll hear multiple air horn blasts for the call to start, and we'll start, it all, start over again. Recognition ceremonies is after the second race, and uh, we should be somewhere in the neighborhood of about 11 o'clock. <coughs> Any questions so far? Pretty easy stuff. So there's your schedule, 7 to 7.45 is check-in. You do need your photo ID. The final referee's instructions will be at the tent. <coughs> Roll call 7.55 at 8 o'clock start. Awards will be after the women's race. With that, I'd like to introduce Jason Moody, who is our tiny folks. We are using tiny chips. And with that, you'd like to tell them about their equipment. Sure, absolutely. So for this race, you'll be getting two chips, one for each wrist. Um, when you check in, the, the, uh, the officials will help uh, assist you put them on, but you can select the hold. Uh, obviously, you don't want it to be too tight uh, to cut off the circulation. But uh, what I'd point out is that uh, in some cases, people have, do want to tape uh, around the chip, and that's, that's um, more than acceptable. For the finish of this race, we actually have uh, five, six uh, video cameras in addition to the chip timing. So it's, it came in pretty handy on Friday. Um, any questions for anybody about any of the, the timing aspects? Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yep. With that, I'd like to introduce Greg Cross, our local race director. Yeah, sure. Um, most, I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, have uh, been to the venue. Uh, the course is similar to the 10K course with the exception you don't go up the canal. It's basically around the perimeter of the lake. Uh, we'll show it up here in a second. There are uh, water temperatures in the morning. It's about 76. gets up to about 77, 78 as the day progresses. Um, there, uh, you know, obviously there's no tide. It's a man-made lake, fresh water. Any questions about the course itself or the venue? One thing, uh, just a reminder, and everything has gone extremely well in the Miramar residence, we are limited to the one side of the facility, the side where the, obviously the, the race is going on. We don't have access to their pool or the restaurant, but they, uh, they will have a restaurant out there, or other, we'll have a snack bar out there if you want to. So please respect their privacy. Um, this is the course, same as yesterday, except yesterday, <coughs> we're down this canal. Okay, we're not going down there. We will have the money buoy, the lime green buoy, that was that was set up yesterday. Will be in the same spot. On your last lap, you must stay to the left, to the right. You must pass that on your left shoulder. Okay, I just kind of twist my shoulder. Sure. Okay, it's only on the last lap. Okay, you must pass that on your left shoulder. Finish line, other than the lane lines, hasn't been moved, so the angle should be the same as it was yesterday. Obviously, you may want to check it in the morning. Uh, you can get in in the morning about 7.15ish. When the, obviously, we, need, we have enough sunshine that we can keep track of you. Um, one thing today uh, we have a little bit of problems with, we really can't, especially during your races, we can't have any, any warm-up, warm-down in the race area itself. We did allow them on the far side over by the marina there's a small area where you can get in and swim a little bit. So please, you know, don't don't interfere with the race going on by warming up in the, the pool area. That was basically after the last swimmer in that race had rounded buoy number two, we allowed a warm up in that area yeah. over there by buoys one and two. Yeah. We'll make that announcement on the PA when it's okay for you to jump in there. If we have any kind of day as we as near the day we had yesterday and today, we're in for we're in for another great day. Uh, tonight we have the Crippen Mile, the buddy swim going on. We just had an all-star clinic. Had a great day of youth races, LSC races, unbelievable day. So just keep the momentum going and finish on a good note. Uh, I do, once again, I want to thank all our safety people who saw them. It's, it's amazing. Including the Lee County Parks, Recreation, Lifeguards, Urban Search and Rescue, Lee County Sheriff's Department, the Park Rangers. Uh, I think you got one of the safest races you'll ever find. Thank you very much.
about the course? Anything else with anything else you want to know about the course at all? Everybody put it through the swan, okay? That's the uh, feeding. Uh, that's the uh, finish station. And uh, the angle's not the same, but uh, here's uh, just going to you're touching on this front fascia right here. Nancy's all yours. Nancy's uh, with the Lee County Parks and Recreation Department. As Greg just said, there's several agencies um, kind of all work together on this. We have the uh, Lee County Sheriff's Department that has two wave runners out there with a sled. We have 17 lifeguards. We have the San Carlos Fire and Rescue that's on site. Um, the USAR, is it USAR, Greg? Yeah, USAR, Craig. Anyway, there's several agencies. It's very, very safe. Um, you'll see kayaks. There's seven. There's 17 guards. A lot of them are in. There's two in one. Some of them are in just one. But we've created like 10 different zones. So there's as you pass, you'll be in, and as you'll you'll see a lifeguard boat or a kayak, and then you go into the next zone, to the next zone, to the next zone. So. In the past, lifeguards had followed swimmers that they saw were having some difficulty. Um, this year, we're just communicating with each other. I'll, I'll be on land or communicating with me, but they go from uh, zone one to zone two, zone two passes to zone three, zone three to four, and then again, the sheriff's boat will be there. They, um, all the kayaks have orange flags in them, so if somebody says, look, I've got to get out, I, uh, I, I hurt my, my shoulder, I just can't swim anymore, and they would go to the nearest clack, would be right there with their eyes on them. They would wave a big orange flag, and then either USAR, Sheriff's Office, or one of the motorcrafts would come um, get you out. So again, it's, it's very, very safe. Uh, a lot of communication going on, and it's going to be a great day. Thank you. I said anything about USADA, but this is a USADA race, so I believe they're uh, drug testing the top five of each race, I believe. I'm not 100% sure about that. Are we going to get to any USADA tomorrow? Yeah, it, well, yes. Um, I only know that because the USADA works for our department, the uh, um, liaison. I believe, well, yesterday they test the top, I think the top of the men and women, top four, top five, I don't know, but you'll be instructed, whoever. <laughs> With that, we have Dr. Rice. Sorry about that. Rice yeah, real quick, um, tomorrow's event is going to be selecting two men, two women for the 14, 15 age categories for FINA World Juniors. So this is age 14, 15, uh, and FINA defines your your birth or your age as December 31st of this year. Um, additionally, qualifying for FINA World Juniors puts you on the national junior team. Um, all of the selections were done and completed on uh, on Friday. Thank you. Okay, anything else for the good of the order? Yes, sir. What time of park is the pool going to be open tomorrow morning? The pool? Yeah. Oh, that's a great question. Uh, if you hang out, I'll, I'll find an answer for you. I'm not sure. Um, Talk about FGCU? Yeah. Oh. Is it 9 or is it 8? Yeah. I'm not 100% sure on the answer to okay. that, but I will call Greg as soon as we get done. <laughs> By the way, we are live, and uh, we'll be live tomorrow. And we have Drone King back, so he's got some really cool pictures. And uh, so, your uh, USASwimming.org will be live streamed. Is that correct? Great. Awesome. Thank you very much. What's this, sir? Pam is here. Oh, Pam. You want to say hello? This is our official um, on the jury, Pam Wilson. <laughs> Great, with that. Have a wonderful evening. Uh, by the way, just you can get numbered tonight. They are over the other. You can uh, uh, they do your nails or whatever. So you can get numbered tonight if you like over at the, the venue. Okay.